welcome back guys and anyone new to the channel welcome right nutcracker time we're going to go through the cutting list so here we're going to hand over to that master wood turner oh he's not here glenn's going to do it yeah you cheeky buggers <laughs> hello guys <laughs> just a bit of fun well i'm going to put these out of the way nutcrackers right um, I said I was going to make a video of one, so I am. But I have been asked about the wood, the cutting list, so I'm going to go through that. Now, this one, when I've done the slot for the mechanism, I used my mortiser at work. So, you know, I'm very fortunate. I have two workshops. This is my play workshop, and I have my business workshop. My business workshop has all my big laves, my mortisers, all my big working stuff. This is my play one. Not everyone has a mortiser, so... When I did this one, which is exactly the same, I did it on my bandsaw. So that's what I'm gonna show you how you can do this on the bandsaw. I know, I I'm, don't take credit for these. I watched Colwyn Way, um, I watched his video on doing the Nutcrackers, which I thought was brilliant. And it's taken me you know, on a year to get round to doing one. Um, but I wasn't keen on doing the, uh, making the jig for a router and things like that. Not everyone's got that. So I wanna try and show, how you can do this if you're new to turning, new to woodworking, this ain't beyond you, you can still do it all. It's quite easy. Uh, this one, I might, before I start, this one was done with Airfix model paints that come from home, home? Uh, Hobbycraft. Hobbycraft, come from Hobbycraft. Uh, and they, they, I must say they are really nice, they give a nice finish. Um, but this one, we done with, tester pots of paint what we got from p and q's two pound a pot you can get all your colors just the little tester pots and then it was given a, a coat of uh, a spray of yacht varnish to finish it off the fur that if you want to get your fur cheap in poundland b m's home bargains they do the christmas hats at the moment they're like 199 they do them in black for the humbug one and they do the red ones you can take the fur off, it makes perfect fur for doing their busbies and for, for the hair and stuff like that. Just ways you can do them nice and cheap. You don't, don't have to cost a fortune. Wood turning's dear enough with all the other stuff. Right, Let's go to dogs as always, <laughs> you know I'm filming. Right, now then, the bits. The bit for the body. Now this is just a piece of beach, which is just under five inches, okay? I cut that bit off, that's 40 mil or one and three quarter inches. That's gonna be for the head. The body is three and a quarter inches or 80 mil, okay? And these are two inch square, two by two, basically 55 mil. Right, now I've marked that up because this is what we've got to cut on the bandsaw. Now, I found the easiest way to cut the wood in half, give it a little sand, prepare it for gluing back. And we're gonna cut this slot out and then we're gonna cut the slot that goes down the side. So I should have shown you on there. The slot goes all the way on the back, but you'll see it as I cut it. So that's the sizes of that. So I'll try and slow down if I'm talking too fast. <laughs> this. The base, three inch by three inch square. And we've got a fine center and then mark for our holes, which are gonna take the dowels, which hold the legs. And we've got to do the same in the bottom of here. So I just use a compass get the center, find for the holes, and then do exactly the same one here and find for the holes so the holes will line up. Just means that when your legs go on, they won't be crooked. Right, so that's those measurements at the moment. So the base, three inch by three inch. I just cut pieces, I'll just do a chamfer, I'll do it on the sander, just push it on, chamfer the edges, and then we're gonna drill that. We're gonna drill those in a minute anyway. The legs are, four and a quarter inches or 110 mil. Okay, they're just one inch square. And I've found the center and I've put a little mark. We've got to put a six mil hole in each of the, each end of these. They'll just have a six mil dowel put in there. Then they will glue on there and the body will glue, sorry, on there once they're turned. Right, that's that. The arms. I've left a bit longer. I've just marked for centers because they're going to be turned and they'll be parted off at either end when you do whatever you do, your design for your arms. And then this piece is just another 
piece. I get hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of these off cuts like this, beach off cut. So it's handy that I find these sort of things to do. Uh, this is what I'm gonna do the hat out of. I just mark it between, put it between centers and do my shape and then part it off and finish it off. That's why I've left it at that size. Right, shoes. I find a nice easy way. It's just a little block. I drill a 16 mil hole through. So have a square piece of wood like this, drill a 16 mil hole through it, right through, cut it down to size. Do that on a sander, just rounded it, done like that. And then I will cut that in half. So half the hole. So when the legs are turned round, like, uh, like you can see on here, when the legs have been turned, the shoes, because that's cut in half, will just put up, push up. I've done these, I'm gonna do clonky, modern day clonky boots on these ones. Um, they just push up and glue on. Do you, there's, you can do other ways. I mean, Colwyn showed how he done his, glued the two pieces together, turned them and then separated them and done more of a bobble shoe. That's what you wanna do. There are plenty of videos out there to, to do it. There's some good turners out there, some are almost as good as me, but you know, you can watch all those videos if you want. <laughs> right, uh, so that's that's for the shoes. That's why they're done, like I say, like, like that. So that's those. The mechanism, right, this bit that goes in the back here, okay? Right, that, I'll show, I'll show you how I, I mark up and, and do all that. I've got one I've actually cut up here, I'll just grab it. This is one I'm gonna be turning today. Because this is what you're gonna be aiming to get on, on the bandsaw, and this is why I find it better to do it while it's square, it's safer. Right, so that's what we're gonna be aiming to get, that and that on the back, okay? Now what I do, this is the one for this one, is once it's cut, I put that in there, so it sits like this, hold it nice and tight, and I'll drill a hole through. You're gonna have to do a little bit of this by eye, just work it out, the hole comes there. Okay, so I pop that in, all into place, just hold it, drill a hole right through. And then for that I use, oh, I should have brought it over with me, So I never done, I never worked for Blue Peter, so I'm not very good at that. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> right, so then I use these. These are bamboo uh, skewers. Three mil, so I'll find they work perfect. So we just have to wiggle about. It does go through. I know it goes through. Come on. Right, we we'll just find our hole. Come on. Right there we go. Right. So the dowel will go straight through, and then that gives me the mechanism, okay, for his mouth. And that's it. And then if I do the holes now while it's square, rather than doing it while they're, it's round, it's easy, because I can just put it and drill straight through, and it's everything safe, nothing twists, nothing moves. When I turn this all round, those holes are gonna be in the right position. Oh which I can show you probably on this one. You can't really see them properly. Uh, the hole is just here on the side. And there you go. And when it's painted over and the hair comes down, you can't see the peg on the back. Can you see all right? Mm -hmm. I'm getting this all dusty now. <laughs> right, let's get you up there out of the way and you can just watch me. Right, okay, so. That's what we're aiming to do, is to make this. And that's where I was saying the hole goes right down the back. Now, as I say, Colwyn used a... Do you wanna just a, show that block up closer? Yeah, gonna... well, Colwyn used a, a router jig to hold it in and done it with a, a router. Not my way of doing it. Mm. I done my one at work, as I say, when I was working on the mortiser, I put the mortiser, if you've got a mortiser, fantastic. Go through, up there, go down with your mortiser, Easy as anything. You don't even have to then cut the wood. I found a way that if I separate the wood, I can do it and then glue it back together, which it makes no difference because you can't see the join because you do the chamfer. So you won't see the, the join or anything, but but this is it. And that's what it's got to be like on the back. Okay. And that is so that you, 
nutcracker mechanism goes in. If you don't want to do the nutcracker mechanism, which Colwyn, when he did his, he didn't, then you don't have to worry about any of this. You just want a block of wood like that. And you can just turn it. Okay, you don't have to put the mechanism in. But for me, I think the idea of, it's called a nutcracker because it has a nutcracker. Now this isn't, these are for decorations. I'm not gonna use these. So this is just a thin piece of wood. If you want yours to actually crack nuts, you're gonna to need to make a bigger one than this. And you're gonna to need to do a bit of reinforcing to, to make this work. This is just purely decoration. So it's not gonna be used to crack nuts because you'd put the nut in there and crank it down and crack your nuts. <laughs> crack your nuts, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, who buys nuts that are in shells nowadays? Messy things. I buy mine shelled. Right, okay. Honey Lisa's, roasted. <laughs> Lisa's going to bring you over to the bandsaw first, and we're going to cut this bit. Okay. okay. All right. I'll let you get over. That's it, right over there. You should be able to come in to. About there, all right. All right, I'm, it might get noise. I'm gonna put my dust extractor on. Right, okay. And as I say, if you're a bit wary of band saws, then just take it careful. But the wood's nice and square, so it's not gonna roll on me or tip on me or anything. That's why I do it while it's still square. Okay, what I'm gonna do, come down the inside of my line. Nice and gentle, take your time, there's no rush. Stop, head on that line. You're gonna come down this one. Stop. Now we're just gonna take out the middle. What I will do is come slightly over. Nice and gentle, we'll clean it up with a chisel anyway. Right, so, we've done that bit, okay? So now, Raise this up a little bit, just to there. Right, now this bit, I'm gonna watch down the blade and I'm just gonna come in, in on this bit here. Now I'm gonna get my pencil. I just wanna make sure I come to a line, which I'm just doing this by, uh, it should be about that. I'm just gonna get my little piece. I've just put a line inside, which is what I'm going to cut to. Can you see that? Yeah. Right, okay. That's what I'm going to cut to now. And this way I'm just going to go in and nibble it away, just a little bit. Like I say, we clean this up with a chisel anyway. need be, it probably won't even need cleaning.
I'm not even going to have to clean that up with a chisel. Right. So there we go. Oh, look, I've got a little bit that I've missed. Hang on, one second. Right, there we are. So that's what we're, we're aiming to get, okay? Right, we'll go back over to the table now. fits fine that's it right okay so so that's what we had to achieve okay and now our head I marked the wood before I started so I know I'm gonna get it back correct that is going to glue on okay that's gonna glue back on and this is going inside there so that's what we've got there like that and for this like I said if we get it here and I it's gonna be all because I haven't glued this yet so what I'll do, actually what I'll do is I'll put a little clamp on that so if I clamp this right so if I clamp the head back on where it's going to be and now this we're going to drill for so now you want it to stick out slightly you're you're slightly modify this with your sand once you've actually got your turning done okay so now i can see on that i'm going to go roughly there with my drill and i will just put a hole straight through there oh, let me just change this a little bit and we'll actually do it Make sure your drill bit's long enough to go straight through. Right, now holding that nice and tight. Just take your time. Nice and slow. Right, I'm pretty much, well, I've not come right through, so back up. I can take that out now for a minute yeah, so I've got my hole just there at that back point all I'm going to do is just lengthen my oh, I haven't got the long drill, long enough drill bit so I've got to just there, there I'm through that's it I'm through and then if I can grab my little peg again goes through and there's our mechanism okay and that's our mechanism so it goes and once you've turned it that will all sort of all work and when you put your hair on the front here it tucks inside which acts as like a little spring to hold it hold it up so other than that i mean it's very light it's heavier obviously the wood's heavier at the front than it is at the back you can always weight it if you want or that's something you, you'll have to work out yourself out what you want to do. I just find the fur is inside and that keeps it up. And that's what stops. Oh, if you look here, that tucks that down inside, inside there. And that acts like a little, little spring to just push it back up. Keep it like that. Okay. But there's, there's numerous ways you can do of, of that. So... There we go. Right, so that's that done. That's how we do the mechanism. And for that, that's the shape you, you want. You'll have to make these, I'll put it, what I'll do is I'll put it on the next to the ruler. 
there. So you can roughly work out. And this is this is the sort of shape you're you're looking to get. Okay. So you just cut that out of a piece of wood. Okay? Right. Right, that's that bit done. Now, like I said, we've uh put this little bit back in. <clears throat> right, with the base, we want a six mil hole. Don't have to go too deep, it's just to hold a dowel. Right, if you've got a pillar drill, then obviously put it on your pillar drill, set your depth, and you ain't got to worry about whether you go through it or not. But that's the two holes there. Then I've got to put the two holes in the bottom of here. the same and we've got our two holes there okay right so that's our holes done in there and then for our legs I'm just doing these like this. Let's say I would normally do it on my drill press, but if you haven't got drill press, then you can do all this with cordless. There we go. So they're ready. And that will be our, our legs and our hat, our shoes, and that's all our bits ready. And that's all the bits we need. So I've got my other bits over there ready for turning. So next you'll see me back at the lathe and we get one turn. Join me in part two. See you later guys. Toodle pip. Bye.